Our dear friend Tony Gwynn Jr. is back on with the Cadets. Tony, do you know baseball well enough to handle being part of so many different facets of the Padres broadcast? <laughs> uh, let's just say I, I think I know a, a, enough to be able to handle the many hats that I'll be wearing. <laughs> All right, so let's run down each of the 25 jobs. you now, So where are we going to see and hear Tony Gwynn Jr. this season? You'll see me uh, a, a little bit on the on the pre and post game on Fox Sports San Diego. You'll see me a little you'll hear me a little bit on the radio about 30 40 games. Uh you'll also get a little social media live type things going on too. So I, I certainly got my work cut out for me. There's no doubt. Anthony, when when Pops jumped into the booth in between, you know, the the Aztec gig and and what he had going on, did you guys ever talk your post career uh, getting into broadcasting? Yeah, uh, we did. I think um, maybe the the I'd probably say about 2012. He start we started talking about it a little bit, and uh, I knew which direction I wanted to go to. It was just a matter of when mm-hmm. and. Uh, I had always kind of prepared myself to for after baseball, and, it, and it, like I said, it just boiled down to when I was ready to to step away. And uh, I was fortunate enough when I was when I did step away to get an opportunity to work up north in LA and kind of learn the ropes a little bit. And I come come to San Diego now, I think a little more prepared uh, than I would have been. Tony, I, I I recently had dinner. Here's my big name drop. Oh, here again. we go. Peter Seidler and I had dinner. Yeah, he reached out to me, Tony. And we talked a lot about, uh, you know, what's going to happen here in 2017. Look, no one's pretending that the Padres are anything what they are. They hit the reset button. They got a lot of young guys. They didn't spend a lot of money in the offseason. This is probably the most anonymous 40-man roster in all of Major League Baseball. But, you know, the, the pitch on the Padres, Tony, is that, all right, we understand where we are. But we want to bring you through the process. How do you see your role as a Padre broadcaster in sort of bringing the audience along as the Padres take those steps necessary to become relevant again, at least from a winning standpoint? That's a really good. That's a really good question. I think what it really boils down to is being able to articulate how this process is going and. I think, you know, generally speaking, fan, from a fan's perspective, you, you want to win as soon as possible. And, but if you have somebody who can explain uh, the process in which the Padres are, 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 are going through, uh, it makes the waiting for the winning part a little bit easier. I think it's hard for fans when they, are, when they feel like they're in the dark and they don't know exactly what's going on or what's the plan. I think the Padres have been pretty forthcoming this time around as far as what the plan is and how they plan to execute it. Uh, it's it's going to take some some time. It's going to take a little bit of luck, but like you said, John, there's there's some young guys who can play on this roster, and if they can kind of harness those guys and get them to grow, maybe even at an accelerated rate, uh, you could see some better baseball in, in the in the near future for the Padres. Tony Gwynn Jr. with us here on Fox Sports on Extra thirteen sixty Fox Sports San Diego. He's he was, on Fox Sports. He's San on Diego. Fox Sports well, actually, San Diego. We're being seen right now on Fox right. Sports San Diego. It all it all comes full circle. <laughs> yes, circle of life. You.